science has brought us advances and discoveries in many areas that have improved our lives. But what actually happens when researchers' experiments get completely out of control and risk throwing the entire world into chaos? Well, in fact, many hair-raising experiments have been conducted throughout history which almost turned the Earth into an apocalyptic moonscape. No matter if it's a violent weapons test, the targeted spreading of diseases, or the provocation of aggressive aliens. The 10 experiments we're going to show you now reminds us once again that science also has a dangerous side. But first, a quick question. Have you ever heard of an experiment that went completely off the rails and almost ended in a global catastrophe? Give us a thumbs up and a subscription and write it in the comments now. The most exciting and interesting comments will get a heart and be pinned at the top. Plague Weapons In 1989, the British Embassy in Paris received an unexpected visitor, Soviet biologist Vladimir Pasechnik, who offered the baffled staff to spill the beans about his home country's secret machinations. Fifteen years earlier, Pasechnik received an offer from a Soviet Defense Ministry general to open up his own biotechnology lab in Leningrad. But soon after, the researcher realized he would not be working there on the development of vaccines as promised, but on a highly dangerous bioweapon with the potential to cause large parts of humanity to die in agony. In detail, the Soviets planned to equip cruise missiles with the plague bacterium and spray the pathogen over unsuspecting enemies. As time went on, however, Pasechnik simply could not reconcile the research work with his conscience. After many sleepless nights, he finally decided to defect and tell the West about the top-secret project. After the scandal became public, the Soviets affirmed that the work was merely for defense against biological strikes from the enemy, and that the program had already been discontinued anyway. Advance into Hell in the early 1970s, the Soviet Union planned an extremely ambitious project. True to the motto, Deeper, Faster, Farther, the goal was to advance farther than ever into the maw of the Earth on the Russian peninsula of Kola. In the end, the borehole reached an incredible depth of 12,262 meters, making it the deepest borehole ever drilled since 1979. Originally launched to gather new knowledge about the Earth's crust, geothermal conditions, and the drilling and measurement techniques of the future, the Kola well eventually revealed some insurmountable obstacles. According to the report, workers were faced with unexpectedly high heat and cracked the 200-degree mark in places. As a result of these extreme circumstances, the machines failed, so that the project had to be stopped in 1992. Well, that's the official version anyway. Behind closed doors, however, it has always been rumored that those responsible at the time stumbled upon something that almost unleashed a diabolical force. In detail, the men are said to have drilled the gate to hell. Thus, the microphones lowered into the borehole captured blood-curdling sounds that sent a cold shiver down the spine of everyone present. Thereby, the screams of tortured souls were spoken of, who received the brutal punishments for their sins in the underworld. Trinity Test If you want to test a revolutionary technology, you sometimes have to make certain sacrifices. In the case of the Trinity Test of July 16, 1945, those trade-offs were the people who made their home around the White Sands Proving Grounds in the U.S. state of New Mexico. In detail, this practical test was in fact the first nuclear weapon explosion in history. However, those responsible did not think it necessary to inform the surrounding population about it. Officially disguised as the accidental explosion of an ammunition depot, in the days that followed, farmers wondered about a flower-like substance that happily trickled from the sky. Rainwater was also used as drinking water in the region, as usual. But how high the radiation levels really were in the surrounding areas was never to be determined. In fact, there was even concern at the time that the detonation of the bomb could destroy the entire world. Accordingly, the detonation would set off a devastating chain reaction that would burn up the entire atmosphere of the Earth. Fortunately, however, mankind would be saved from this fate and not extinguish itself by the ignition of a nuclear bomb. Well, not yet anyway. Black Holes 
Black holes are discredited for being galactic killing machines that literally destroy everything and everyone. However, the fact that these gravity monsters behave like ordinary celestial bodies outside their event horizon and play a fundamental role in the evolution of galaxies is less well known. Basically, as long as we don't come into contact with one of these monsters, nothing can happen to us. But a few years ago, there was concern that just that could happen. Before the Large Hadron Collider at the European Nuclear Research Center, CERN, was put into operation, many people feared that the particle collisions could form a black hole that would swallow our Earth together with its inhabitants. But as we know today, the scientists' all-clear warnings would prove to be true. Project SEAL Where the explosive power of man meets the elemental force of nature, the idea for Project SEAL is born. For example, during World War II, the U.S. was looking for ways to develop a tectonic weapon that would create destructive tsunamis. Except for a few small-scale test runs, however, the tsunami bomb was not to be tested further, even though it was at times considered as important as the atomic bomb. However, if one follows a report once printed in the Egyptian magazine al Asoba, the tsunami weapon was indeed further developed and ultimately even used. According to the report, the catastrophic tsunami that killed an estimated 230,000 people in 2004 was the result of a targeted nuclear blast in the Indian Ocean. Alien Apocalypse What do the Voyager Golden Records, the Pioneer plaques, and the messages Medi sends into the far reaches of space have in common? They could all cause our blue home planet to be targeted by an aggressive alien species. Well, this fear has at least some well-known scientists. For example, Simon Conway Morris or Stephen Hawking. In this regard, the genius who died in 2018 gave us an urgent warning. Instead of continuing to try to actively contact extraterrestrial civilizations, we should do everything we can to remain undetected for as long as possible. Because at the end of the day, we simply cannot know who the information we send will reach. Should it be a race both advanced and hostile, it would be easy for them to expose our vulnerabilities and turn Earth into the scene of a devastating alien invasion. Starfish Prime Conducted on July 9, 1962, Starfish Prime was intended to demonstrate the real-world effects of electromagnetic pulses. However, the detonation of the nuclear weapon at an altitude of 400 kilometers proved to be much more penetrating than scientists had predicted in advance. Detonated in Johnston Atoll in the northern Pacific, the consequences of the explosion were felt even on the Hawaiian island of Oahu, 1,300 kilometers away. Since the electromagnetic pulse released was much stronger than expected, most of the measuring devices on site failed to work. And even more than 1,400 kilometers away, hundreds of streetlights went out, the released X-ray radiation was also hopelessly underestimated. It caused ionization of the magnetosphere for years so that seven satellites failed. Tectonic Bombs If we turn back the wheel of time to the 1980s, we end up in an era when Soviet scientists were actually trying to develop underground nuclear bombs. Tested in a top-secret facility in Kyrgyzstan, the goal was to find ways to destabilize seismic forces and trigger a brute earthquake from a distance. While there is no confirmed information on how large the induced explosion underground was, it appears that the test run was successful. The plans for the tectonic nuclear bomb are said to have given rise to the idea of the much larger Project Vulcan. Specifically, the Soviets are said to have toyed with the idea of bombing the Yellowstone volcano in Wyoming and causing the largest supervolcano in the continental United States to erupt. However, we know that volcanic eruptions of this magnitude are associated with global catastrophes. Leaving aside the immediate consequences, the ash ejected into the atmosphere would block out large portions of incoming sunlight and drastically alter Earth's climate. Operation Big Buzz Have you ever wondered which animal is the most dangerous in the world? Is it a dangerous poisonous spider, a ferocious predator, or a monstrous giant snake after all? Well, none of them. With 725,000 deaths per year, mosquitoes claim by far the most victims. 
This is known due to the fact that the biting insects transmit dangerous pathogens such as yellow fever or malaria. In an effort to harness the mosquito's properties, the U.S. military conducted Operation Big Buzz in 1955, a field experiment in which more than 300,000 mosquitoes were released into the skies over Georgia. The subsequent evaluation showed that the cost ratio of infected mosquito to human killed was just under 30 cents. But fortunately, the mosquito bomber's cargo did not carry any pathogens at the time. Project Cirrus On October 13, 1947, three U.S. bombers flew to an unusual target, a hurricane. But what was the mission all about? Were the pirates literally going to bomb the dangerous hurricane to smithereens? Well, not quite. In order to change the structure of the hurricane and to manipulate the weather in a targeted pattern, it was bombed with a good 80 kilograms of dry ice. But instead of dissipating into thin air as hoped, the storm made an unexpected U-turn and headed for the mainland. A $2 million loss later, there was an understandable excitement among the people of Savannah, Georgia. Initially, however, the government denied all accusations and asserted that the hurricane had not been manipulated. The fact that this statement was not true was not acknowledged until many years later. So people, and now we're interested in your opinion. What do you think about the presented experiments? We are curious about your comments. Please leave us a like and a subscription to stay up to date from now on. And with that, thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.